There was a man who lived at the edge of the forest in a house made of sticks and stones. He would chop the wood and burn it. He would boil the milk and churn it. There were cattle, there were birds, there were fruits, sheep and herds. He would wave at the passerby passengers, the occasional jogger, the hipster finding comfort in the shade of the forest. He would smile, this genuine smile, warm like his bonfire. Occasionally, they would throw a marshmallow party. The fire would be his, the people brought the ingredients. He was a nice, lonely fella doing his everyday work. He didn't mind people dropping by, even enjoyed the company for a while. But the thing was, as soon as the fire stopped burning, the marshmallows ended, the last song was sung. Everyone dispersed and he went back to his hut alone. Then a crow came by and he, st and he stopped on the stone near the bonfire alone, keeping company to the man in the forest. The crow would stay at the exact same stone every morning when he came, but every evening he flew away. The man didn't mind because his evenings were already his and his alone. He didn't mind it anymore. It was the bright sunny morning that caused him misery. One day, the crow didn't come. The man missed him deeply. When the crow did come though, on the day that followed by, he sat on a different stone. The man was once again alone. Because this never was and never would be the same crow. Because the crow brought with it some worms and dead meat, something shiny and a straw piece. Every day he would come and shift to different stones, leaving these treasures behind and leaving him alone. One day, the man shooed him away. The crow didn't come back again for one or two days. Now, whenever he came, either the man shooed him away or he waited. But the companion he always wanted was still awaited. Then came a hipster couple. They set up a tent by his house. Um, Every day the dude would go, the man would chat up with his spouse. She was nice and considerate, small and compassionate. She evoked more feelings in the man than anyone he'd ever met. But time went by and the man heard them fight. She was lonely in this place, the decision wasn't right. So the couple moved away. She told him she would call, but the forest had no signals, nor did he have a phone hanging on the wall. Days passed by and he got more and more upset. It had been so long since he was alone in the forest. But he never minded before. It was the fault of assholes. He had left the city. He used to be content all alone. But the party people totally fucked up his life. They gave him a taste of the real fun life. One day a stray dog came running down the path. But on closer look he saw, he wasn't stray at all. Yet he decided to keep him, to love him, to feed him. The dog also liked having someone with him. He had gotten lost, but he liked it here in the open. But this wasn't the place where he truly belonged. The dog tried sneaking away a couple times. There were still old memories and a scent he had to find. But when the man saw him sneaking away again and again, he tied up the dog with a collar and a chain. The dog barked all night and would often writhe in pain. He had come used, he had become used to wilderness. He felt dead in those chains. Even the man felt pity at the poor creature. So he decided to unchain him for a day. Knowing the betrayal, the dog bit him and he ran. For days to come, the man looked at the wound and cursed the damn day he found that little runt. He still cherished the good times he had left behind. But worse were the pangs of loneliness now. Ever since he went off to find his true place, one day while mending, one day while minding the cattle, the man saw there was a little bird fallen with a broken wing in the grass. It was trying so hard to fly away when the man came close. The wound started bleeding more badly than before. The man picked it up so cautiously in his hands. He took care of her wounds, he fed her with his hands. There was such warmth and comfort in the house that the bird felt. But the sky had been her only calling, fly she must. It was the reason for the wings she had. 
but the man had grown to adore the boat so much and even if it hurt to see her try to fly he decided to keep her forever in his heart he put the bird in a cage even as she squeaked he saw the failed attempts at flight and the wounds from the cage so he decided to follow a new routine he took it out of the cage while still holding on he tied the boat's tiny legs with a thread and chained her ever so lightly in his room the boat didn't die but the dream to fly died soon the man saw her misery and felt regret every day but his loneliness was stronger than any other feeling he had felt and the bird was just so beautiful still chirpy occasionally he believed as long as she could sing he would still keep her and when she couldn't well that was for some other time to see yet one day he woke up and the bird wasn't where it was supposed to be not tied to a place the threads lay broken he cried and cried till the bird came and sat on his shoulder she sang another chirpy song in his ear but the melody was different yet the bird was still here